Now, my review of this bag, because you know I like to review bags and show you bags after I've worn them. I have something exciting to share, but I don't know how, I'm a bit nervous saying this. I think this might have to be my favorite and you're going to see why. From me to me, because it's my birthday. Do I have the wood panel in here? I'm just gonna tell you how it's going to look. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I haven't filmed a video in so long, I get a little bit nervous. I have so much to share with you. It's actually quite a major video and very, lots of different topics. So if you're into handbags, reveals, a bit of home content, travel, wellness, this is literally an amazing video. Um, I have another one of my favorite cardigans on from my Chanel inspired looks. Um, I will try and get the discount code for this early, but it's going to be in the next video. So if you love it, stay tuned. If I can get a discount code for this video, I'll pop it in the description box. So I'm going to talk through two bag reveals, that, which are completely different. I have a lot to say about both. I'm also going to be touching on a very controversial subject of... I have some explaining to do for Hermes, so I'll leave that till the end of the video. Um, but first of all, I want to talk you through a trip that Paris and I went on. Excuse the birds. They are singing like wild, but I mean, I don't mind if you don't. Um, Paris and I, we went to a wellness detox clinic in Switzerland, and it was something that we both really needed. Um, and there's no other way about it than to just be really personal and share something. So we would love to have another baby. I feel that stress and working, so many of you can relate, my age, sometimes it just doesn't come easy for some people. So before I started medical, like full on medical treatment, I just thought I'm going to do the abs my absolute utmost to get both of our bodies prepared because it's also, of course, the man plays a huge role as well, both to be not stressed, both to be as healthy as we can. Uh, Paris also has colitis, so it was a perfect timing for us to go and do something that was wellness and detox. So we chose to go to the clinic in Switzerland. There is no better setting than Switzerland. The air is clean. It's one of my favourite places in the world. If you haven't been, you have to go. And where the clinic is, it is probably my favourite part of Switzerland. I've only been three times, but this was by far my favourite. So the wellness clinic, it's called Clinic La Prairie, excuse my English accent, I'll have to try and get Paris to say it better, um, but they're, they're an award winning clinic and we just felt that it was the best for us because I wanted something detox, but something also medical as well. So they have doctors on site, it's a clinic, they do all the medical reports, for, for us it was perfect. And we, we arrived a bit sceptical because, you know, you, you just never know with these places. And all I can tell you is when we got in the car on the way to the airport, we both looked at each other and said, wow, we are blown away by it the results of this clinic and we only went for two days we couldn't have enough time away from work we couldn't leave honore for too much longer next time i'll definitely take him because they do allow children um, and there are parks everywhere i really recommend to take children if you need to um, but the whole plan is meant to be four days to a week so i cannot imagine how amazing you would feel so i did film a little bit there but i'll just talk you through what we did at first so we did a detox plan uh, detox teas, no caffeine, you can introduce fish if you want and uh, some white meat, they call it two-legged meat at lunchtime. I can't eat fish but Paris did. Let me tell you the food at this clinic was like art and if you're like me you're allergic to nuts and fish and you're trying to do a detox healthy or vegan they pretty much give you leaves and that's it because these kind of meals include fish or the vegan menus that all include nuts. I've never eaten food as good as that in my life. It didn't even feel like it was a vegan detox because it was unbelievable. I'll put up some pictures or some cutaways. Food was a hundred out of ten, literally blown away by that. I wasn't expecting to be impressed by the food and that's coming from me, a non-foodie. We had massages that were both relaxing but detox. Uh, the detox teas, like special for the morning, lunch and dinner. We had personal training lessons. We felt like new people when we came back. Paris has a huge bloating problem. 
Like I feel so sorry for him, it's not a weight thing at all, it's his bloatingness. He had special massages, he completely lost his tum like his bloated tummy. Let me read you something from the pack so you get some really good information. But if you are looking to go somewhere like this, I saw a mum with a newborn and she had a nanny there, like so perfect to revitalise after birth, like me preparing before that. There were some people there that I think were poorly and they were trying to give themselves a boost and do everything they can to help themselves. And there were people that were older, trying, they were literally all ages, couples, people on their own. So let me read something for you that was, I thought really summed up the clinic. The secret of how to live longer and healthier and a fuller life is a mystery to many, but not to us. This is from them at the clinic. Our exclusive type clientele comes to a clinic library to experience a pioneer infusion of exceptional healthcare, science, holistic wellness, combined with luxury hospitality. So that explains it in a sentence. It's like an amazing, luxurious spa, but there's the medical side as well. So we can't recommend it enough. So I'm going to leave you, let me tell you as well, that I am a huge Queen Freddie Mercury fan, and they're trying to explain to me our, our plan I'll put up a picture of our plan here, and I'm going to be sharing on stories to make sure information on my Instagram. But they were trying to tell me about this, and then they, they mentioned that there's a Freddie Mercury statue. I'll put up a picture. I literally didn't even go to my room. I walked, it's a beautiful walk on the lake, and I went to go see it. Amazing. So that is where Freddie Mercury spent the last days of his life, not at the clinic, but like literally down the road. It's so famous, like pictures of him on a balcony looking at the lake. That's where it is. So for me, it was just the cherry on the top. So I'll leave you with the little vlog. So you can see the clinic, you can see some of the treatments that we have. I will leave a link in below. I suggest just go and have a check it out, like on the website of everything that they provide. If you're looking for a wellness clinic, a medical clinic, a detox clinic, I cannot recommend this place enough. We are, we are going back and making it a yearly thing. Um, so I'll leave you with that and then we'll go back to the unboxing. You're gone now, will you call me back? Yeah, I know that, yeah, I know that You're the traveling kind, it's a known fact Yeah, I know that mm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places I hope it means that you come home to me Once you've traveled the world Okay, so what did you think? Like I said, everything will be in the description box below, the link, so you can really read in detail, but that's our little experience. Now, I have something to share, which you might have seen in, in that video, I can't remember, but this is my new bag. Um, I'm not doing the whole unboxing thing because, uh, quite frankly, I don't know where the, um, the dust bag is. So, I have buckled to this IT trend bag. Um, but there are many reasons why I did. I won't hold it up because it's, it's um, oh, okay, I'll put it here. So as soon as I saw this, I loved it. This was before I even knew it was going to be an it bag. Um, when I really love something, that is irrelevant to me. But the fact why I do love this, and it is a bit different to the it bags, it is so hard to get. I got this on pre-order. Um, I found it at Louise Via Roma. Now, Louise Via Roma are one of my go-tos. I love their point system. I love how fast everything is shipped. But most of all, what I love about Louise Via Roma, they are the only multi-designer brand that lists everything as pre-order before it's even launched so that you know that on Louise Via Roma, you can see everything that is coming. Whereas the other, other multi-designer brands, it only goes on site when it's ready to, to buy in, let's say, October. So they'll show it on Louise Via Roma in July, August, and then it will come in October. I personally love that because I, 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 me, I shop in advance because that's my tip. You always get the best things from, for the autumn when you shop in summer and vice versa. And Louise Via Roma allows you to get organized and get everything first. So I was one of the first people to get this thanks to me pre-ordering on Louise Via Roma. Um, one thing you need to know about Louise Via Roma pre-ordering, I have never had the pre-order date that it says. I think they give you the worst case scenario. 
but I've sometimes got mine a week later. It's always, always been earlier, and I just think they give you the worst case scenario, but it doesn't bother me waiting because I know I have it and I know it's coming. So um, I was lucky enough to get it on that. I was able to save my points with the Lorizio Roma point system. Um, and yes, yeah, so I recommend it for that really. I recommend Louise Miroma for shopping things in advance and pre-ordering. I find it so, it's enjoyable to shop because there's less stress and why everyone's looking for this. I got mine easily, it was shipped out in the first batch. Now, my review of this bag, because you know I like to review bags and show you bags after I've worn them. I took this to Switzerland. I love this bag. If you're on the fence about buying it, in my opinion, I think it's amazing. I saw it in Saint-Tropez, I saw it in Cannes, I've seen it in London and they're all one on the shop floor and you cannot buy it. So this does, I can't help my, it's human nature and just my character, I do like something that is hard to get, I don't know why, I'm not ashamed to admit it, but it, there's just more of an appeal there and it makes it a bit more exclusive, it's a game, I don't know, shopping's a hobby for me, so I do like it that it is quite hard to get. With that aside, I know that I'm going to love this bag forever because it's actually still quite minimal. So it's not like a fad bag, like the Bottega Little Croissant that I find so annoying to use. I feel so bad when I say bad things about things, but it's really annoying to use and it's really impractical. Whereas this is a very classic design. It has that minimal center on look and I do not have a tote like this. And as far as totes go, this is a very practical, amazing, amazing bag. Mm. So first of all, I love how light it is. I love how you hold it on the shoulder. Look how slim it makes my legs. Because it's so huge, it gives you that illusion of everything else looking a bit slimmer. You know, all big bags do that. It is so comfortable. It, I was so, I just loved using it. And then you can collapse it and slightly close it by this here, the little chain. And you can bring it in and like have it like this so you can you like make it smaller so it's not as oversized which I really really love because it, it basically looks like a whole different bag and the YSL logo there is more prominent when you do that it's very light I could fit so much in this bag this I found extremely helpful I put all of my passports in here hand sanitizer um, just really useful things and then I use the inside pocket for sunglasses and a few other important things that you don't want loose but I had a book in here I had two pairs of shoes in here it was the most fabulous travel bag I would even use this probably the only travel tote that I would wear also out shopping as well because like I'm hands-free you can have hardly anything in it like I've got now and it feels really comfortable so that was the ultimate seller for me and why I really love it so much oh what is that? What's my phone? So you know when you have an amazing travel tote, like my Gucci weekend bag, I'll link that below because it's just coming in stock. I love this bag. I'm so happy I have a travel tote. It's so amazing to take on the plane, but I'm not going to use that like shopping, am I? So this is an amazing travel work bag, but also you can use it shopping. Like, I totally would wear this like to pop to the shops or something, you know, like nice like shopping. So I cannot rave about this bag enough. I kind of thought that I just fell in love with it. It gave me like the excitement. I didn't realize how much I was going to wear it. So I know that so many of you have seen this bag. I know so many of you are probably um and ah and about it. I always do honest reviews and uh, I, I think it's absolutely amazing. I think you should go for it. It will be a bit of a craze bag at the moment, but for me personally, I do think this is a classic center on look and I know I'll be wearing this in years to come. It's not like a fad impractical bag. Um, another thing that I did for this, when we were at the clinic, I only bought one handbag, which I'm going to show you as my reveal, and I didn't want to wear it all the time. So I used, this was enough to put my phone, and I was just carrying it like a clutch, and it's got a little Saint Laurent logo on the um, zip, and I was actually using it every day. So that's quite a practical thing, that you can just take that, and then use that as like an evening or day clutch like me. So I'll link that below. Um, definitely recommend Louise Viroma for pre-orders. If you didn't know that about Louise Viroma, it's their, it's their best feature that, that they have. How they drop things early before anybody else and you can prepay for it and then you get the surprise when everything else is dropping everything else and you haven't got to scramble to get it. It's like everybody should do it. So that's that. Now, 
Oh, while we're talking about St Laurent, I have to show you this. So this is a men's leather jacket that I picked up um, on Etsy for £260. It's absolutely stunning. It's um, a bomber jacket. Can you see this? It's got set YSL on the, on the buttons. It's got the YSL here. It's, it, it's, it's old. It's a bit smelly, but I don't really care. They, this this um, style of a bomber is so in at the moment. And I had a look on the women's wear. They were around four to five thousand pounds. The men's wear were very similar. And actually, I love this one even more. So a great little vintage find. Uh, I'll see if I can find some similar. But you know, I love a good vintage find. I love buying men's wear. I can't wait to wear this with just a pair of jeans. Or it's still quite hot now. So like cut off jeans, my Chanel loafers with socks. I love it. So I wanted to show you that. I need to air it outside. Now, before I show you some updates off the house, I have something excited to share, but I don't know how I'm a bit nervous saying this. So, I am not going to be sharing any Hermes unboxings anymore. Nothing really too about it. I've always said if I don't enjoy doing something anymore, if I don't enjoy doing YouTube anymore, I'm not going to do it. Like you guys know that I have a whole job outside of my social media. I've always done marketing and branding and I've done a lot of things behind the scenes that I didn't talk about until about a year ago. So, you know, YouTube for me and social media is, yes, I, I work with brands, but it's always been quite a passion of mine. So I just felt that about the unboxings. I felt like this is no dig at anybody else. I feel like unboxings are very useful. I think that people that still do them, it's so helpful. I mean, I did it for years and I'm not deleting any of my videos. I think they're so helpful to talk about the prices, talk about the different Leathers, I'm still going to be doing bag videos, talking about the leathers and all of these because it's my passion and I love talking about bags, I can literally talk about them all day. I'm just not sharing the unboxings. You know how I used to do and I would take them out of the box and the reason why I'm sharing this with you, you're probably thinking Claire, like, why are you making this a big thing? It's because I took pictures with this bag, it's obviously a nervous bag, in Switzerland and I was just going to post it. But I thought so many of you follow me because of my Hermes unboxings and you know that's what I'm known for well I must be because it's predominantly been on my channel for years I got my first Hermes bag like around five years ago my buttons under um so I just wanted to explain for people that enjoyed following me for that and I don't do it anymore and then you see this random new bag I think I owe you the explanation of you say oh Claire did I miss the unboxing that's what I know you're going to say and rightly so so I just wanted to share that I won't be doing them unboxing I just feel like on Instagram it's like every day there's an Hermes unboxing which again it's great I'm not pulling anyone down doing it I just feel like when I started mine it was something that not many bloggers were doing. I wasn't the only one or the first one, but I just felt like it was good, like something exciting because it was so hard to get this bag and I would talk to you all about it. And now I just feel like there's so much of that information online. I, I just want to do something else. And it was just something like, oh, I don't want to really share them anymore. I'm actually quite happy to just go and buy it, enjoy it, and then wear it on my Instagram. If you want to ask me questions about it, I'll be doing bag collection videos still. I'll be sharing, like, you know, my Kelly 25 versus a Birkin. You know, I'll still be doing all of that. But I thought you were owed an explanation when you see me with a new bag and you say, Claire, did I miss this unboxing? No, you're not missing unboxings. I'm still going to share with you my new bags. I just feel like I've been doing the unboxings for a while and don't just I just don't want to do them anymore. So um yeah, literally I just thought you were you are owed an explanation. So am I going around in circles now? So when you do see I've actually bought two two new bags, um three not including an Hermes, and sometimes I will do unboxings, but I think most of the time I'm not going to. Um, and if it's something super rare, like the Chanel loafers, I did an unboxing on them. I bought two more pairs since and I'm not going to be doing that because I feel like I've already done it. Uh, so not that I'm not doing unboxings, but I just felt like it's something that's going around on social media a lot. And you can get that content from 10,000 other people, you know. So I hope that makes sense. I feel like I'm really not making sense at all. 
it really shouldn't be a big thing, but I just thought, no, I need to explain to them why I'm not doing any unboxings, because maybe you think it's a friend of mine's bag, or I've borrowed it, or you might even think it's fake, because you'll think, oh, why hasn't she done an unboxing? There must be something suspicious. So that's all it is. I'll still be showing you new bags, and if you see a new bag, Hermes bag, you can ask me any questions you want about the bag, and I'll happily tell you, especially over DM. So, shall I now share this with you? So this is the birthday present from me to me, because it's my birthday, I'm a Virgo, it's not my birthday, actually yeah, probably it's my birthday by the time this goes out. So I know I say it every time, and I have been really fortunate with my MS collection, I do always get like the amazing bags that I want. So I do stand by the fact that they're all amazing bags that I love, 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 but I think this might have to be my favorite, and you're going to see why. I wasn't even gonna unbox this one, but here it is, it's a Kelly Mini, um, by the way, it's Kelly Mini, not Mini Kelly. Um, I think it's like a size 20 or 19 it equivalents to. So this is quite a special baby. This is a trio. They haven't done a trio for around 10 years. You actually can't even get a special order at the moment with um, three colours. It's only with two. So it's extremely special. It's not a special order. It's just a very special bag. It's with Natta, which is one of my favourite Hermes colours. And it's with Chai, which is also one of my favourite colours. I really recommend Chai if you like gold. But this is a more muted tan, which I love muted colours. And I still love grey. And this is the seasonal new grey, the Gris Maya. So, and then it has the strap. So I did really love the Cray Mini. But this was my dream, like a special trio. Because I have my Cray Birkin 25 that I use for events and weddings and daytime. I wanted something a bit special, but I honestly thought this was near impossible, but me being me, I'm not being ridiculous, but the day before, I literally had it in my mind that I was getting this exact bag, which is absolutely crazy, like a mini, a trio, and in the most amazing neutral colours. I can't explain it to you, I literally imagined, you can use the word manifest, that this bag was coming to me and it was going to be unboxed. And it happened, it's really weird, it might have been a coincidence. So this is the new bag and this will probably be my last Hermes unboxing. I feel like the vintage ones are different because it's a whole new process and a vintage bag is, is like easy to find but there's a lot of information that you need so I feel like that's a lot more helpful because I can do a vintage unboxing prepare you with lots of links and you can click and buy it right then and there so I feel like that's a lot more helpful. If you want to see any videos of where I bought my bags before, like my experience getting into buying Hermes bags and all of this, there are so many videos on how I get my bags and how I've got them in the past. So just go for all my old videos. I'll try and like look into making a playlist. Um, I feel like I'm talking way too much about this, but this is probably the last bag that I unbox, apart from the vintage ones, like I say. And you know, never say never, I might buy one next week and literally feel like it's a different story that I thought you would find useful and I need to unbox it. So that's all it is, it's just a literally me feeling that I just want to film content that I am enjoying doing and if I feel like it's getting a little bit repetitive and not useful I don't want to share it so never say never but the main point of this video is to share that if I do if you do see a new bag on my Instagram and I haven't done an unboxing I'm just shifting slightly slight, slightly 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 the videos that I do um, and I do have some something else to share with you nothing major but I've realised, I've been changing my content ever so slightly on Instagram to more educational things that like you might have seen with the Chanel loafer post. The response of that was amazing, so thank you for that. And it's all this information that I know, that I just presume everybody else knows. And I'll go for meetings and I'll speak to other bloggers and they'll say, wow, I never knew this. And then I see them shown on their channel, which rightly so they should. And I don't tell them to be credited, it's nothing to do with that. But I realised in myself how many people don't know like all this experience that I've had over the last 20 years of you know, working in the job that I have done all my career. And I'm going to start making a conscious effort to share more of that. I want to do, go back to the old school educational videos and I just feel like the unboxings 
I'm going to come away from a little bit. So I, like, I'm still going to share you with bags, but hopefully you get more out of my videos because they're going to be more educational, more honest observations about brands. I'm going to prioritise that, you know, like telling you when things don't fit, beware of this, really positive things as well. So I, just a little... I don't even know what it is. It's not a confession, but just a slight shift in my channel. But how beautiful is this bag? Um, you would have seen it in the reel, probably. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you did see it in that reel, and you'll probably see. You're probably thinking, "Oh, that's a new bag. I haven't seen that. Is that a special order?" Just to give you one last tip about special order. So many people have, like my friends, have said this is a special order. The special order has the horseshoe next to the buckle, like next to the Hermes, um, like, my, like my Cray Birkin has. So if you're ever wondering if someone has a special order, if it doesn't have the horseshoe logo, it's not. This doesn't have that, so. Um, so I'm gonna show you just a two minute update of my house, and that's it, I'll leave everything linked below. I'll try and get a discount for this jacket because it's absolutely sensational. It's a high street jacket, probably under like 50 pounds, I think. But I'm, I'm not saying I'm slim or anything, but or I'm like a flat stomach, but I've been back for a week and I feel like I lost so much bloatiness from that clinic. I feel like my skin just looks so amazing. So impressed with it. How beautiful is this as well? I'll be doing a high street haul um, with this jacket in my next video. So that is the new bag. Should I show you a little close up? I am over the moon with it, honestly. Isn't, isn't it the most beautiful bag ever? I know you're probably going to ask about my nail colour. So I will link that as well. But isn't it beautiful? Um, I do have another bag. I do have another Hermes bag. I don't think I'm going to be unboxing it, so look out for it on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you're not. I also have my home account. I've got so much home account. I'll talk, talk to that in a, bit, in a minute. But yes, I'll be just sharing a new Hermes bag, like me wearing it in an outfit post, no unboxings. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and please feel free to ask me any Hermes questions you like. I'm more than happy to answer. But so let's go and show you some home updates. So if you haven't seen this stunning kitchen, sneak peek there, it's not a sneak peek, so I've already revealed it. Um, I'll link that kitchen video below. Now, um, this is our, uh, what do you call it, hallway. These arrived today. This is the same company that did my beautiful wardrobe, my fitted bedroom blown away by their service, by their prices. No one does better than them, but I won't get into it because this is not even that vlog. But big news that we are doing a project here and in two other rooms in the house. Do make sure you're following Claire Chanel home. I'll be sharing so, I've got so much content to share with you. I'm really going to be sharing a lot of home content soon. So head over there, stay tuned for other vlogs to see what we are doing with all of this space. Now, have you spotted what I'm going to show you? So we're having some panelling done and he's already been today, Dan from Overlow London. Dan is literally the most skilled plasterer. He's done all of our uh, beautiful coving. Like he's doing my whole house. Um, he's quite a, like a new business. Not only is he really enthusiastic about what he does, but he does have a wait because he's just that good. But for me, I don't care how long the wait, wait is. He's amazing. He's so meticulous about everything he does and his prices are also really great. So I won't share the finished product here, but this uh, these are the panels. It's not finished yet, as you can see. Now, I always ask your opinion, but should I keep it a neutral colour like this so that when you come in through like this space here, it's all one colour. But what I should tell you is this colour is also going in the lounge. And I'm thinking, do I really want my whole downstairs, this beige colour? So do I have this all beige in here so it flows into that space, which I think is very important? Or do I have the wood panel in here? I'm just going to tell you how it's going to look. So this is going to be a dado where that line is. And then it's just going to be half panelled walls and it's going to go up the stairs. Now, do I have like an off-white or creamy up the top and the beige colour that you can see in there at the bottom? So it's like a two-tone. I actually think it will look really nice. I really do because it's quite like an open wide space. So what do you think? Two-tone? with two colours or one colour. I can always paint over it again. And also, what's your opinion on painting the coving the same colour? I'm not sure what to do about that either. It's white in there. So that's a little home update. Do make sure that you are following, oh look, here we are. 
Do make sure that you're following me on my main Instagram, especially if you want to see um, all of these new bags. Make sure you're following Claire Chanel Home. So much, literally so much amazing content coming on there. Um, how beautiful is this, this jacket? Literally it is. I think it's around 50 pounds. The quality is absolutely amazing. I am going to ask them for a discount. If there's not a discount in the description box below, just hold out a week because it's worth getting the discount. They give a really generous discount. I've absolutely loved filming this video. I haven't filmed a video for so long and I remember how much I love it. It's just been really busy with work and um, I'm traveling so much lately. So yes, the new bag, I'll link it below. I'll, I think I'll link some of my other Louise Aroma favorite new in bits as well. Um, got the kitchen reel, got some very exciting home stuff coming with uh, the three new fitted wardrobes. We are also finishing the renovation of my wardrobe because you know I've only done phase one. Finally, we're on phase two. So um, I'll link Dan if you would like to go follow him on Instagram. If you want to follow him just for inspiration because all of his coving is very unique. Um, he does like traditional, but it has slightly modern. I just feel like he's he was exactly what I wanted. He's a little bit modern and very creative. So I recommend following his Instagram, even if you don't live in England, just for the inspiration, because his work is so good. Um, right, I need to stop talking. Everything will be linked below. And I'll see you in the next video.